Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to check out how to use Lightband PUI on a cross-server network. This is meant for like networks who have multiple servers and you want to use them on every single server. Pretty much doesn't require anything except for, let's show you here. On your bungee cord, you'll most likely have a bungee cord and a bunch of other servers. I'm using two servers and a bungee cord, for example, in this video. On your bungee cord, normally you would put light bands under here. That's not what we're doing. You want to remove it from here, make sure your data and bands are on a MySQL database to start. The reason for this is because then you can sync it with your spigot servers without um, moving anything. So on your hub servers, you're going to install light bands and light bands because you are public or on any server. So any server you want to use, you're going to install that. Here, you're going to make sure sync is true, bungee cords false, sync broadcast is true, sync notifications is true. Then you're going to set your server name. This is going to be the server name for me. It's going to be hub. And then here's where you really have to pay attention. MySQL. You want to switch this to MySQL. You want to enter your database info that you have all your setup already. So you set up a MySQL database and you sync everything to the same one. Then you go and repeat this process with every single one of the servers you have. For me, it's only two. So here, I do the exact same thing, put the same details, you want the same database, and I synced everything to the same place and same settings as well. Now, if I'm on a different server than my other alt here, it's gonna sync in between each other. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Now that you've set this up, your plugin actually works perfectly fine. If you punish for noodle0711, and you warn him or permanent mute him, it will work cross server, which is very cool. So your bands will sync, the plugin will work, and you're all set. So it's pretty easy to figure out. You just connect everything via MySQL database, and then you get to um, use it just like you would normally do. So, you know, going to mute him for advertising and light spam. Going to ban him and temp mute him and server mute and ban him for an hour. So it works pretty easy. It's all cross um, plugins. So if my account was on the other server, I would be getting these notifications. I would be getting everything that you normally get on this server. Um, I'm adding. I'm thinking of adding just a uh, cross-server version of Lightbands GUI, so you could put it on every server. But right now, it works fine as long as you have MySQL set up for Lightbands. So just make sure to use it. It's very useful. Um, if you do want another bigger tutorial on this, it's pretty easy to do, um, and it's pretty easy. So when you do slash unban noodles zero seven one one and they join, they'll be back here. So pretty much, it's pretty simple to set up. If you want cross-server notifications, this is how you do it. Lightbands is pretty simple. Um, buy the plugin on Spigot, and you can download it. And then and download Lightbands to UI Public, and you're welcome to um, mess around with it here. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Um, everything works as is. It all is good. I'm going to go ahead and punish Noodle0711 for a permanent ban. There you go. Permanent ban. Um, and that would cross over every server. So if I tried to directly connect to the uh, server number two, I would be banned there as well. So it's cross server, everything's MySQL, works perfectly fine there. So make sure, um, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. It's bghqdevelopment.com slash Discord. Our test server is test.bghqdevelopment.com. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to join. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.